Maranatha, my PBC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another Quick Bite, Living the Word. Today our word's going to come from Ephesians chapter 3, and uh, it's just something I want us to really notice here that Paul has to say to us in his writing here uh, about our strength in essence. And so Ephesians chapter 3, and I want to pick up at verse 14. I was going to read there, but I'm going to read all the way down through... Um, well, I'm going to read all the way down to, I guess, verse 18, but I'm really going to focus back in the middle part of that. So anyway, it says, For this cause I bow my knees unto fa- the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family of heaven is named, uh, heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to, his, to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the depth and the height, and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. So what is interesting to me about this passage in particular right here, I apologize about my horrible reading skills this morning, guys. Um, but uh, what's really interesting about this passage here right now is the, the, the idea here. Of, I hear a lot of Christians who are sitting there thinking they have to be strong enough. I've got to be strong enough. I've got to work on my strength. I've got to get stronger. Da, da, da. And, I, and I'm not saying that's not an admirable idea or a, a, a valid or, or desirable goal. But we go about it the wrong way sometimes. We go about it thinking that this is somehow our strength that we're going to make it, that our inner man, for lack of a better term, is going to be strong enough if we just keep focusing, we keep, you know, paying attention. No, this is not the point. Literally what he says there, right in the middle of that, he says, I'm praying for you that you'd figure this part out. I mean, that's how I like to look at this, right? That you'd understand that everyone, the whole family in heaven and earth is named. All of us have the same idea. We all have the same father and we all have the same purpose here. We all have the same, uh, I'm trying to think, think, think here, but anyway, we have, not purpose necessarily. We all have the same thing here. We all have, we're all part of that same family. And so in other words, because we're the same family, we're all going to be trained up and, and, and helped and taught in the same manner. And it says that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened. There it is. Ready? To be strengthened by his riches and glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. See, that's the problem. So many of us focus on trying to strengthen our flesh. I can overcome this. I can No, strengthen the spirit and he will overcome the flesh. That's the key. If you're having a struggle, you're having something you're dealing with or something like this, focus on the spirit. Get closer to God. Read more. Study more. Grow in the grace and knowledge of our Savior. The spirit gets stronger. The flesh gets weaker. It's just a natural reaction, guys. But you have to be growing in the strength of his spirit. In other words, you have to be growing in the spirit of God to see the it's to see that inner man have the strength instead of that outer flesh, that outer core to have all the strength. And then he goes on to say, because when we do that, then Christ will dwell in us, in your in our hearts by faith, being rooted and grounded in love. We will be rooted and grounded in him. So that we won't have to worry about when the storms of life come because our rooting ground is in Him, love. God is love. It's rooted and grounded in Him. When the storms of life come, we won't get knocked down. We won't get distracted. Oh, we might take some damage. We might lose a couple of leaves along the way, but that means that we honestly stay strong. I thought about this a lot because I've watched a couple of different wind storms here recently and stuff, and, and uh, we've had different... Uh, uh, of our sunflowers on the back deck there that have gotten knocked down. They haven't necessarily grown out, out or anything like this, but they've gotten blown over in the wind. But there's some that are just standing strong because they're rooted and grounded. They've got a ton of root ball and strength to them. Uh, they're not overwhelmed by, by those things, for lack of better terms. So I just think that, guys, what we need to focus on right now is exactly what it says there, right? That we'd be strengthened by His, by his riches and glory, by His Spirit. In other words, if I can put it to you this way, walk in the Spirit. Row in the Spirit, stay closer to God, and He will take care of the strengthening part. It will grow stronger, and your flesh will naturally grow weaker. It's like that old parable. I think I've told you guys that probably, if I've told you once, I've probably told you a thousand times. It's the old Eskimo parable, right? That the young man comes in and he says, I can't, to his, to, to his grandfather, he says, I can't overcome this problem. I can't overcome this sin. And uh, the old grandfather says, Well, go out and feed the huskies. But today, I only want you to feed the white huskies. Don't feed the black ones. Okay? So he goes out and feeds all the white huskies. Comes back in the next, and comes back in. How's that teaching me? He goes, that, just wait. Does the same thing the next day, next day, next day. Finally, he goes, so how's the, how are the dogs looking? He's like, 
well, the white ones are strong. They're looking powerful. He goes, uh-huh. And how about the black ones? They're looking weak. He goes, okay. Well, now start feeding the black ones. So he goes out and starts feeding the black ones, not the white ones. Again, several days later, how the, how the huskies look? Well, now the white ones are all weak, and, and the black ones are strong. And the point of the matter is, which one are you going to feed? This dog, the, 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 the huskies that get fed are the ones that get stronger. Are you feeding your spirit, or are you feeding your flesh? So remember, we're strengthened by we're strength, our strength comes by feeding the spirit. It doesn't come by feeding the flesh. I hope this encourages you today. I know it encourages me. I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.